If there's one frustration gardeners everywhere share, it's waiting for compost. You pile up scraps, add your browns and greens, and months later, if all goes well, you're rewarded with that rich dark humus. But here's a little known secret. Some plants do the composting work for you while they're still alive in the soil. These plants grow, harvest energy from the sun, and at the same time feed the ground beneath them as if they were walking, breathing compost bins. They bring organic matter directly into the soil, attract worms and microbes, and enrich the ecosystem without you ever turning a pile. Once you know which plants to grow, you can transform your beds into living compost systems, accelerating fertility in a way that even the best compost heap can't match. Most gardeners think of composting as something that happens only after a plant is cut down or added to a pile. But some species have evolved in a way that constantly sheds nutrients back into the soil during their life cycle. They might drop leaves packed with minerals, exude sugars from their roots that feed soil microbes or build vast root systems that decay layer by layer while still alive, leaving behind organic tunnels of fertility. This is more than convenience. It's a regenerative practice that mimics natural ecosystems. In forests, fallen leaves, decaying roots, and organic litter feed the soil continuously without human intervention. By planting certain species in your garden, you recreate this cycle on a smaller scale, letting your beds rebuild themselves while still producing food, flowers, or cover. Comfrey has earned a reputation as one of the most powerful soil builders a gardener can grow, and for good reason. Its deep tap roots stretch far down into the subsoil, mining minerals and nutrients that most plants will never reach. Those minerals are drawn upward, stored in the massive, soft leaves, and then dropped or cut down as mulch. Even without cutting, comfrey sheds older leaves at the base throughout its growing season. Those leaves rot quickly, releasing calcium, potassium, and trace minerals right where they fall. This natural cycle makes comfrey one of the best examples of a plant that composts while it grows. Each leaf is essentially a bag of nutrients delivered from deep underground, composted in place without any effort on your part. If you actively chop and drop the leaves a few times a season, you speed up the process, covering the soil with nutrient-dense green mulch. Worms flock to the rotting leaves, dragging bits of them into their burrows, enriching your soil even further. Beyond its role as a living compost engine, comfrey is also a biomass powerhouse. Few plants produce so much organic matter so quickly. A single plant can provide wheelbarrows of material over the course of a season, all of which breaks down with the speed of tender green compost. Instead of hauling in bags of fertilizer, a gardener with a patch of comfrey has a renewable, self-sustaining source of fertility growing right in the corner of the garden. Legumes like clover alfalfa and lab lab bean are well known for fixing nitrogen in the soil, but the real magic happens not when they are cut down, but while they're still alive. These plants form partnerships with special bacteria on their roots. The bacteria pull nitrogen from the air, one of the most abundant but least available resources for plants and convert it into forms roots can absorb. Some of that nitrogen is passed directly into the surrounding soil as the plant grows, feeding nearby crops even before the legume itself breaks down. What makes legumes unconventional composters is the constant cycling of organic material in their roots. As they grow, older roots die off in stages, decaying underground and creating these tiny channels of humus-rich matter that feed microbes and improve soil structure. New roots grow repeating the process again and again so the soil is enriched continuously. Clover in particular is a champion at this, sending out mats of roots that both protect the soil surface and leave behind a steady supply of organic matter as parts of the network naturally die back. Gardeners who interplant legumes with vegetables often find that their soil texture changes dramatically over a single season. The constant drip feed of nitrogen and organic decay transforms hard, compact soil into something lighter, looser, and full of microbial life. 
Unlike a compost pile that you feed once and wait months to harvest, legumes act as living compost producers right in the bed, never pausing in their quiet enrichment of the ground beneath them. Few gardeners think of root crops as composters, but daikon radishes are one of the most underrated tools for building soil fertility. Known as tillage radishes in farming, they grow enormous taproots that push deep into compacted earth, fracturing hard pan layers and allowing air and water to flow into places that have been closed off. This alone is a gift to the soil, but the real composting begins when the radish dies back. Even before harvest, the fine side roots of a radish plant are constantly dying and regrowing, adding slivers of organic matter to the soil. But when the plant completes its cycle and the large taproot decays in place, it leaves behind a vertical column of compost right in the soil profile. That column becomes a tunnel lined with organic residue, a hotspot for microbial growth, and a natural irrigation channel for future crops. Worms follow the decaying root downward, dragging additional nutrients with them and expanding the effect even further. What makes radishes unconventional composters is how quickly this process works. In just one season, a bed planted with daikon can go from tight, lifeless clay to friable, aerated earth threaded with organic matter. Unlike a compost pile that requires turning and maintenance, radishes do all the work invisibly, feeding the soil as they grow and long after they are gone. The real power of these unconventional plants is revealed when they are used together. Comfrey delivers minerals from deep layers dropping nutrient-rich leaves onto the surface. Legumes infuse nitrogen and root-based organic matter throughout the soil profile. Radishes break up compacted ground and leave behind tunnels of humus. Combined, they mimic the cycles of a forest where constant inputs from different plants build fertility from every angle. By weaving these plants into your beds, you turn your garden into a living compost system that never pauses. The surface is fed by mulch-like leaves, the midsoil is fed by roots that fix nitrogen, and the deep layers are enriched by decaying tap roots. So, this means less hauling, less waiting, and honestly more results season after season. The idea of composting while plants are still alive changes the way we think about soil care. Instead of seeing compost as a separate chore, a pile to manage in turn, you can design your garden to compost itself. Comfrey, legumes, and radishes are three of the most powerful but often overlooked allies in this approach. Each one enriches the soil in its own unique way, and together they form a system that constantly builds fertility without effort. A gardener who embraces these plants is never starting from scratch. Every season begins with a little more humus, a little more microbial life, and a soil that feels softer, richer, and more alive. That is the true gift of unconventional composting plants. They bring life back into the ground while they grow. If you found this guide valuable, subscribe to Hydrohaven and share it with fellow gardeners. Together we can spread the knowledge of living soil, grow healthier plants, and rediscover the simple secrets that make gardens thrive naturally.